Alright ladies and gentlemen, today I am back with our C++ SDL tutorial and let me just start up the project real quick. Uh, I'll take a moment and get rid of all this crap on the side, SDL tutorial. Today we will be exploring the wonderful world of alpha, um, alpha layer. What is alpha? Um, alpha just tells, um, alpha transparency just tells how transparent an image is. You know, like, uh, you see like an image and it's like half see-through, half, um, opaque like you can see through it but you can't see fully through it well um SDL makes it so that you can like apply alpha to an image and I assume if you're looking up this tutorial you know what alpha is and I don't really need to explain it but I can show you what I mean if you if you don't but this is like a really cool effect you can make it so you can uh what is it like have enemies fade out it, it's it's like a fadish effect but for this I want to get rid of our color king code so it's a little bit more prevalent when we do this so we uh, get rid of that um tools Where's, <laughs> I haven't, I don't use this, I haven't used this in forever, other than the tutorials, I don't really use it for much, and that should be good, uh, where's my documents, do, 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 projects, SDL tutorial, debug, and we got this here, and we got our key states up and running from last time, so the movement's a lot more slick, and I'm sorry about that, that's my iPod flipping off in the background, going over all kinds of stuff, so remove the color king code, so now we want to apply an alpha, and alpha is really simple in SDL. Like I said before, SDL, Simple Direct Media Layer, took simple to heart when they when they put simple in it. Alpha is so easy to do. So we're going to do SDL set alpha, and it's got three parameters. Your first parameter is the surface you want to set the alpha to, and that's going to be image. The second one is going to be the flag, and I'm going to throw this to my bed all the way over there so you don't have to listen to it. The second one is going to be flag, and that's just going to be SDL, SRC, alpha. And then the third one is an unsigned 8-bit integer, which is alpha. This is a range from 0 to 255. 0 means it's completely transparent, that you can see straight through it. You don't even see the image. 255 means the image is completely opaque. See, we apply 0 to it. Let's do this, and uh, we're going to build a solution. That's have nice to just remember that. So we build this. And we applied zero. Look, our image doesn't show up because it's completely transparent. You can completely see through it. And 255 declare makes it so it's completely opaque. So 255. So we're gonna hit F7. And now it should be completely opaque. Yep, completely opaque. Now we wanna kind of alpha is really cool because it can make um make stuff half see through. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it right in the middle of 255 and uh, zero. So we'll do 128. 128 f7 to build this and this will be this should be pretty pretty slick check that out it's it's halfway faded through like you can see the black coming through and it it looks pretty good to me I, I feel like that's good this is really cool though when like you're bringing down like a text box in the game I actually have an example of it in one of the games I made um, I just need to like, mute the volume off I was gonna um, I have an example of this in a, in a game I made um, where is it it's gonna be in my completed projects folder. I had to mute the volume though because the, the sounds a bit annoying. Um, bin debug. That's in the release. Sorry. This is a game I created a while ago, and this really just shows the off alpha really coolly. So play. Um, here we are. And when you collide with people, this this box that comes down and then has the typewriter effect with the text is a, is a 50% alpha. 128. And you can you can set the alpha to anything really, and see it looks really cool when you bring that down. Um, but but alpha is really cool in that aspect that you can make like the cool transparent effect, and you can make you can use that effect to have like enemies fade out when they die in your games. So uh, let's get back in the SDL tutorial folder. So um, 128 is actually a really special one though. 128 has special optimizations in SDL's code that makes it run faster than say like you know one. Let's where where is it? <laughs> Let's let's do like a an eighty. Let's not do an yeah. Let's do an eighty alpha and then tools build solution. And then we see eighty. It's a bit darker than that. Let's get close to two fifty five. Um, two fifty five. So let's do two hundred. And we uh oh no, did I do this wrong? No, I didn't. I just didn't click anything. So F seven. We build that. And then we come back into here, and then and then that's pretty opaque there. You can slightly see it coming through, but it's not as uh, vibrant as if it were the uh, other ones. So alpha is really cool. It's a really quick tutorial. I'm sorry about that, but uh, it's it's fine. And 
I, I'm afraid that with my key states tutorial, I can I, I didn't do this right. So I did the S D L K W A S and D. But with like the key states, like it can be any. Like S D L K can be like anything. It, it's any key on a keyboard. So like S D L K, it's escape. If you want to do the escape key, and then like A S D F G H for any of those keys. It's it's really it, that's um how it works. I might show up a video thrown up of this uh that fireball prank that I did the other day. It's it's pretty cool. It's it's a cool little game I made. So uh, this is the video. Just hope I explain alpha and I and I really don't think I cleared this up. Like the SDLK is the flag for all the keyboards. So there's like SDLK enter um and then just like one two three if you want the number keys. So it's I'm sorry if I didn't make that quite clear when I'm over key states, but there's alpha, that's how you do it. See you guys later.